Sunday morning, I always say to my people, Good morning, New York Valley. So I'll say to you, Good evening, New York Valley. Uh, we are so glad and happy and proud to have you all here. All I can say is, holy cow. <laughs> so I apologize for the heat. That's not my fault. We did not turn the heat on. God did. So we're, it's a blessed, beautiful day today, and we're glad you're all here. Uh, we have a wonderful presentation, I think, prepared for you, and I hope you will enjoy. Uh, and of course, it would be wonderful to see you all here bright and early next Sunday morning at 9.30. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I saw you all, but if you show up, we'll find out. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Newark Valley United Methodist Church for the combined choir's presentation of a promise of life. But as with all things we do in God's house, let us begin with prayer. Holy Father, we are so blessed to be in this place tonight. This building that you have given us that we call your sanctuary. And we ask that it be your sanctuary, the place where you are, but that we be joyful with you in it. We ask that you bless the voices of the choir, that they would sing and glorify your name. We ask that you bless those who are here to participate, that they would be blessed and go from this place proclaiming the joy of Jesus Christ and being light and peace and hope and joy to those around them. Lord, bless us, but let us be a blessing to you. We pray these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Light. Science defines it as radiant energy, something that makes things visible or affords illumination. The Bible mentions light 237 times, beginning with Genesis. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. However, in time, a new darkness crept into the world, the darkness of separation from God's eternal law. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But through the worlds of the prophets, God promised to send a new light, one that would illuminate not earth, but the very heart of humanity. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn.
promises of help and assurance. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. And Isaiah tells the promise of God's very presence. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor the, will the brightness of the moon shine on you, for the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Perhaps the most astounding promise of all came to a young girl named Mary. The angel Gabriel told her that she would experience something miraculous and that through her, the light of God's love would enter the world and shine through all generations. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Thank you. 
fulfillment of God's promise to Mary and his promise of eternal life came to pass in an unusual and unassuming way. Joseph and Mary had journeyed to a small town in Judea called Bethlehem. Joseph went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
on that night in Bethlehem, it is likely that few people were aware of the young couple stranded in a stable, and that even fewer were aware of the miracle at hand. However, we are told that some received the news of this event even as it unfolded. A group of shepherds tending their sheep out in the fields under an evening sky. Not kings, not government officials, not even the clergy of the time, but simple, ordinary shepherds who were treated to the most extraordinary sight. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior is born to you. He is Christ the Lord.
flowers have long been used to express our deepest feelings, gratitude, sorrow, and most of all, love. On that first Christmas night in Bethlehem, the flower of God's love burst into bloom here on earth. The world was given new life, light, hope, and the promise of peace and joy. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the babe who was lying in the manger.
on the night of Christ's birth, the angels sang glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward mankind. The promise of light had arrived, and along with it, the comfort of God's love and the joy of God's presence. They will come and shout for joy in the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow.
Now that you've all had good practice at lighting your candles, <laughs> since this is not the correct time, please <laughs> extinguish them. And we will light them again shortly. So just extinguish them and hang on. But I want you to take note that it did not shake the choir at all. <laughs> We're almost there. Just as we will soon put the light and glitter of the Christmas season behind us, so the shepherds eventually left Bethlehem behind and returned to their fields and went back to their work. No doubt they carried the memory of that blessed event with them for the rest of their lives. They had witnessed the fulfillment of God's promise. They saw with their own eyes the very light of Christmas. And they carried it away from Bethlehem in their hearts. And according to the scripture, they radiated that light to others. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them.
together and singing Silent Night. The light of Christmas has been shining for over 2,000 years, illuminating our paths and guiding our way. That same light that led the wise men who journeyed to Bethlehem to visit the Christ child.
star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was.
And now join us together as we sing the first Noel, Angels We Have Heard on High, and Joy to the World.